Barely a month after the first competency-based curriculum, learners transitioned to junior secondary school. A lobby group now wants the government to scrap the system, claiming that there is a little happening in grade seven. According to Elimu Bora Working Group, infrastructure in most public primary schools where CBC is domiciled is wanting, besides the lack of enough teachers and learning materials. Emily Chabet reports. The Christian religious education lesson is ongoing at Ibeno Junior Secondary School in Nyaribari Church constituency in Kisi County. Last year, the number of grade 6 candidates in this school was 62. But due to the recommendation by the committee on CBC to disallow some schools to host junior secondary, the numbers here have doubled. The 113 learners in grade 7 are far more than the school can accommodate. With basic infrastructure and only three CBC teachers posted here, the pioneer CBC class is sharing the 14 primary school teachers to fill the gap. Hakuna lapu kwa hii primary tuseme wanafunzi wataka waenda kufanya practical zisao. It is this state of affairs that has got some education stakeholders worried. And now they want the government to go back to the drawing board until all the requirements for the learners are in place. There is completely nothing going on in most of the grade 7 classes. Here we get a part of uh, physics, we get part of biology, we get part of, uh, part of uh, chemistry. So these teachers, uh, sometimes they ask themselves, though I did not uh, meet this in a, maybe in the university, I did not, but I can handle this, I can handle this. The government, tumala besa kwa mazule, kila kitu echengwa sasawa, kama itosi, ni avatari hii kitu eise, because it is now a patent to, to, to the balance. Questions on how primary school head teachers and its board of management are able to run junior secondary school at the same time remains a puzzle to these stakeholders. Kato wana pato kuto kwa wazazi, kwa upande wa malezi, itakuwa ni ngumu kuchanganya uh, pamoja na sa, sa primary. Each child is supposed to be receiving 15,000. That 15,000 has different components in there. Its management are completely different from the management of the free primary education fund. The lobby group wants the government to ensure 100% transition is achieved in both junior secondary and form one. The government is the custodian of public affairs in the communities. So that is what we are demanding that we need to be told. Where are these 200,000 as are explained by the cabinet secretary for education? He is the source of the information. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.